We're in Naxos, uh, near a village that is close to some ancient uh, marble quarries. And the reason we've come is to see a 2,600 year old abandoned Kouros statue. A Kouros is a statue of a young man in standing position, uh, nude with one foot sort of stepping forward. Very similar to, you can see the Egyptian influence in these uh, statues. So in ancient times, the marble on Naxos already had been recognized as being of very superior quality. And even today, this is the case. Um, and these quarries that are near the location where we are now produced excellent quality marble that was shipped all around the Greek world. What they would do in, in order to create structures, buildings, temples, statues, is they would roughly cut the stone from the quarry site, shape it more or less into the shape that it was going to eventually take. So a statue or a, a column or whatever, and then transport it down to the site, uh, either to be erected here on the island or to be shipped uh, someplace else. So this statue that we're going to see, if we can find it, somewhere here, I think. Oh, there it is. This statue was on its way. It was being transported from the quarries that are above us in the hills down to the town of Naxos to potentially be transported. And there was an accident and it broke. You see the leg here is broken. There's the head. So it's lying down. 2,600 years ago, a workman carrying this had an accident and the statue broke. And so what they did was they abandoned it. They left it here and it's still here <laughs> for us to see. It's amazing. Massive stone. This is a bit off the beaten track. These are the kinds of things that uh, I love to do. And here you can see the face that didn't have any characteristics because it was just roughly hewn, remember, in the site. And it would have then been sculpted at wherever it was going, but it never made it. Quite amazing. I'm, uh, I'm very moved. From about 700 BC, the Noxians um, made use of the natural stone, the natural marble in their mountains. And you can see just opposite where we are now, there is modern uh, contemporary marble uh, quarrying taking place on these two peaks. But where I am right now is interesting because these are blocks of ancient marble that were quarried from the site right here. So right in this area here, there was an ancient, a very small ancient marble quarry. And you can see the ridges on this block here, where the stone was extracted from the mountain over 2,500 years ago. And these bits were just left here on the ground um, to just uh, to be found by us <laughs> today. So we're heading up to, to find another broken kudos, which is about half a kilometer away from the uh, first one that we saw. And again, it would have been um, you know, broken in, uh, in transit as it was coming down off uh, the mountain. We're walking up this very rocky sort of goat trail from the ancient marble quarry that was below us up to the site of another broken Kudos statue that was left in place after it uh, it broke in transit.
the search for the second uh, kudos, broken kudos, is taking us through goat pastures. Here we've got some fig trees and the goats are feeding off the fig trees. You can just see them under here. They stand up on their hind legs to get to the figs. There's one right there. And uh, fig season is in uh, the end of August. So it's August now. The figs are almost ready. Here's what they look like on the tree at the moment. They're not quite ripe, but I guess the goats like them a little bit unripened. So this is the path. You kind of have to bend over to, to get through it. Here are the goats eating the figs. distance, an olive tree. This is really the uh, quintessential Greek landscape right here. We're still walking uphill. You can uh, see the mountains of Naxos around me and the sea in the distance. We walk through the goat uh, pastures, through some olive groves, up this rocky path. And we finally made it to the second Kouros, which is another spectacular sight. It's just behind me here. There's the one leg <laughs> and the statue lying on the ground. This Kouros here is as impressive as the first one. It's just lying here. The face is more... Uh, destroyed and its legs, the feet rather, are over here. Would have been standing. Something obviously happened at the weak, uh, the weakest part, the narrowest part of the legs and it broke and it was just abandoned here. Amazing. base of the statue over there and then here we have the statue itself lying on its back. You can see where the arms were still connected to the body and the hand here and that would have been finalized at the site. Here this is beautiful. You can see very clearly these two spots that are protruding a bit which would have been the uh, braids of the hair. Often the kudos would have long hair um, and that's what that would have been. The face of course is gone. Actually the face would have never been there. There would have just been a, a rock, a uh, marble um, sort of sphere, let's say for the face and that would have been carved on the site but you can see where the hair would have been carved, these two bits here and the rest of the body. Magnificent. I have to say that this has been one of the most amazing archaeological experiences that I've ever had. These uh, Visiting these two kudos that the time has forgotten about. That aren't in a museum, that aren't in a proper archaeological site, that are just here where where they fell and where they they were left uh, 2,500 years ago, more than 2,500 years ago. Just spectacular.